Okay, we are about to have a battle. I'm about to post on two videos. Are you like, we should only go post two videos today? We are so used to you posting so many videos in one to stay. And you only go post two? No, no, no. Not in the one day. I'm only gonna post two videos. And then I'm gonna have to let six, I'm gonna have to like eight hours pass. So I might post real late tonight or real early in the AM. It all don't matter. But does it count for today if I post it as long as it before as long as I post it before 12? And does this yeah, as long as I to post it before 12, it still counts. Okay. But it's your girl to Queese Jones, aka Killer Queen T, aka Blackout T, aka you pay attention to me. Look over here. Don't look over there. Hey, hey, hey. Come, come back. It's okay. Come back. You got this. I know you can pay attention to what I'm about to say to you. You know why? Because I'm going to say something that's very interesting, which is the following. I'm about to have a... We is about to have a... We about to have a doctor off. We got Dr. Frost versus... Ma, is it Melvina? Melo... Melavina, I gotta, I gotta look at it. Therapy. Okay, we'll be starting with Doctor Frost. So this video right here will be Doctor Frost, and the next one, I'm gonna tell you all about that when we get there. We trust experts with our money. We trust experts with our body. Even things in our everyday life, like our houses design or our kids' education. In some cases, even finding our spouse. We leave all kinds of things to experts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, 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 what about our mind? What you're doing is not a counseling. A person's mind is so precious and emotions. Well, don't you have to sympathize, to sympathize to be able to counsel someone? Of course, that kind of counseling does exist. Click. But that's not how I work. Since I don't know what emotions are. I can't sympathize with you, but I can't help you solve your problem. After all, people are basically the same. Dr. Frost, the tell them one genius psychologist. We about to start. Let's go. How's the birthday? Can y'all see me? Am I too dark? Is the sun too bright behind me? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to work this out. In 1952, the famous American psychologist Gordon Exner began his most famous declaration with the following statement: "If there are six million, six billion people on the planet, there must be six billion different types of mind, personality, and dispulsion. Since each personal person's philosophical state, this dispulsion, disposition, and personality is different." People are all unique. <coughs> but in the final essay he wrote before he died, Gordon Exner changed the statement and ended it with the following. In fact, those are simply six billion different male manifestations, man, manifest, manifestations of one person. People are all the same. Creek, welcome. Uh, he, he. Hi there. Long time no see. Haha, <laughs> yes. How you been? What can I get you? Hmm. Whiskey on the rocks for me. How about you, honey? Ha, huh, I have a martini. Who's your lady friend? Through their, through their subconscious mind, people's minds always reveal themselves externally. Ha <laughs> ha. We've been going out for two months now. Wow, congrats. Most people just don't know how to read behavior. I want to give you this. Wow, it looks so expensive. Thank you. Haha, <laughs> anything for you. I wish I could make it up to you somehow. Don't sweat it. We'll have the rest of our lives to treat each to treat each other well. That's <laughs> so sweet. One more glass. Here, please. Sure. Oh, <laughs> I just noticed that pattern on the wall. Hmm. Behind the bar. It looks like a mask. A mask? Haha. <laughs> Actually, you're right. A mask. Glass. Her legs are facing the entrance. I'm just going to make a quick phone call, okay? <laughs> she finna leave his ass. She finna leave. 
She gone. She ain't trying to be in a relationship. Sure. Your girlfriend's gorgeous. I have, thank you. After going on dozens of blind dates, I finally found a girl who's my type. I feel I feel like I finally found my dream girl. Unfors- unfortunately, it doesn't look like she feels the same way. Huh? That woman just told you a lie. What? She may not even come back. What the hell are you talking about? What would even make you think that incoming text? Sorry, something just came up, so I gotta go. See you later. How did you know? She's been telling me a lot of things ever since you both came in. I mean, continuously, click. The empty man. What do you mean? Shh. This ball is called mirror. You obviously know what that word means. People have a tendency of unconsciously revealing their hidden thoughts. As if reflected in a mirror. It's impossible to stop. And I can see all of those things they try to hide. This bar's temperature is set at 24 degrees. We always keep it the same. Why do you think people cross their arms or legs if it's not even cold? Because it's comfortable? Men and women have what we call open and closed positions. When people argue or don't want to hear something, they usually cross their arms or legs. It's a way of psychologically protecting themselves. It's a typically a way of indicating my mind isn't open to you. And another thing. Take purses, for instance. In, women, in relationships, a woman's purse is like her heart to a certain extent. When women meet someone for the first time, they put their purse far away from the other person. But if they get to know them over time, they start putting it between themselves and the other person. If they've been dating for a long time, they may, be, may even allow the man to touch their purse. Hey, honey, would you mind getting my journal out of my purse? But seeing how far away she put her purse from you, even though you've been dating for two months, it indicates that the two of you aren't close so what do you know you don't know you don't know about us just from looking at something like that of course i can't say what people are thinking just based on that alone after all for all i know you may you two may have had a fight today or maybe she just takes longer to get closer to you than with other couples well that's what i'm saying we just need time however as you showed her the gift i saw a lot of very interesting things what you see? What you see? Tell us what you saw. Tell, tell me. Let me know. Tell me. What did you see? What did you see? Mm. What did you see? Wait. Are you are you talking about you could tell from the moment I gave her the ring? As I said, I can't tell what one person is thinking just from that. It's just a speculation. I need a few more pieces of information to make a prediction rather than a speculation. Like, for instance, things like Things that suggest she's lying. What suggests she was lying, huh? Step. Is this the place? Do you know how I can usually tell when people are lying? Their pupils, their shoulders and neck, sweat and other kinds of behavior. When people lie, they show it in all kinds of ways. But the most common and easy thing to spot is, first and foremost, their mouth. Their mouth. Unless someone's a trained, kind man, they'll feel guilty when they lie. So subconsciously, they want to cover their mouth. That's not true. What kind of liars are they? What kind of liars are these people dealing with? Liars don't cover their mouth. They don't care. These, I guess, this is new age liars. So they almost always touch somewhere near their mouth. This is projection of their subconscious desire to cover their mouth when they lie. They may touch their nose, chin, or their lips. When a woman said, "I wish I could make it up to you somehow." She actually had no intention of doing so. Second, for the same reason when people hear something they don't want to hear, they make a subconscious desire to cover their ears. So they're cut, touch somewhere around their ears. They may scratch around their ears or they may touch their earlobes. Of unconsciously indicating, I don't want to hear this. When she saw the gift, her enlarged pupils showed genuine delight. But when you said, we'll have the rest of our lives together, she in she indicated what well, I don't want to hear that. What do you think this means? Third, when someone smiles, it's their eyes that tell you if the smile is fake or not. The eyes have a smile. The eyes have to smile for it to be real. If her eyes show no expression and only her mouth is smiling, it means she's faking it. When she said, we have the rest of our lives to treat each other well, your lady friend indicated that she didn't want to listen by showing a fake smile. In other words, 
I'm closing my mind off to you. I don't want a serious long-term relationship. These kind of people are always getting ready to end a relationship while they're still in it. Damn. Enough. What do you know? You just saw us once today and started talking like you know everything. Who would believe all that psycho bullshit anyway? That bull crap anyway. Should we should we stop him? The customer is getting upset. Just wait. Actually, the pattern on the wall was first designed in 1921 by the Swiss psychologist Hermann Ros Roskash, and it's still widely used today in psychology examinations. It's the first print from the Roskash Inkbalk test. I probably not didn't say that right. Please don't don't kill me. By asking what they see when they look at the abstract symmetrical drawing. One can tell a lot about what's going on in, them subcon in their subconscious. Of course, everyone gives very different answers, but their answers reveal at least an aspect of their subconscious mind. The mask symbolizes concealing the truth. People who see this as a mask are really saying that they are wearing the mask themselves at this very moment. Have you ever been in a place you didn't want to be? Somewhere where you felt uncomfortable and wanted to leave? When people want to be somewhere else, the lower of their bottle, the lower half of their body faces the direction where they want to go. Well, in her case, it was the exit. Oh, he's so dead. He, oh, he looking blank. He looking dead. He like, damn, I can't do this. Whoa, was that all? Was was that all before some kind some kind of mind reading? I just I'll just say it's a it's just a combination of Oscar observation and logic what the hell was i trying to say it was so cool though can you can you do it to me too i can't always read what people are thinking people just tend to be more open in bars that's all haha <laughs> you did it again you really you really not cut out for the service industry man you were the one who asked me to help for who asked me for help who can't make a cock who can't even make a cocktail that's because i figured women should would love having some good looking guy around well, not to mention your mind reading skills as well. He like, look, I'm gonna be honest. You you bring that caution. I didn't say anything to that woman though. That's not the point. Besides, most of the guy, most of the time, guys pay for the drinks, huh? Ha <laughs> ha. He didn't. He's not even a real bartender. We're not even sure what his real name is. So we just call him Professor Frost. Frost sounds like the name of cereal. Uh, was it Frosted Flakes? Whatever, man. Ring. Ah, oh, sorry, but what clothes for? Ah. Well, well. Long time no see, Mr. Burke. I mean, Professor Frost. Ah, <laughs> long time no see, Professor Frost. We been waiting for you to come, come through. Come through. Okay, so I'm the man. Yo gang, university. Booze, booze. I see. Oh, really? Hmm, this student was here for the, his depression. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Now that's just, now that it's job having season, everyone's getting depressed, huh? What the surprise? Someone came for sexual violence counseling. I didn't know we even had all this kind of stuff. Does this really the whole chart for students who came for counseling this year? It's too thin, huh? Shake, shake, sigh. Professor, oh, I finished putting together the records for past year clients. Huh? Thank you, Miss Yoon. Sigh. I feel sorry for you, Miss Yoon. Having to work in a stuffy little office like this, foul, f filled with flies. I, I'm fine, really. I want to be back in my lab writing destructions. <sighs> Hardly anyone ever comes here. Hmm. Professor, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We don't have many clients here. As a counselor, you should consider every client as precious as a precious individual. You know, help them solve their the problems deep down in their hearts or whatever. That's the noble duty of a true psychologist counselor. Uh, hey, did you say you had a class? Oh, shoot. My psych theory class is, is across campus. See you later, professor. I'll be back after class. Sure, sure. I want to leave, too. Huh. Step, 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 step. I'm Sing on Yin. Yoon, 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 Yoon. A third year psychology student at Yang Gang University. Step, step. Professor Chun's class is super popular. I hope there's some seats left. Woo, right on time. There's still some seats left in the front row. Why are there so many non-psych majors in this class? Ugh. When I tell people I'm a major psych, 
The first thing they ask, do you do you know what I'm thinking right now? Come on, do some mind reading. Cool. Can you hypnotize me? Wow. I had this dream last night. Could you tell me what it means? Shay Shay, come on. Reading, being a psych student doesn't make me some kind of fortune teller. You can't just read someone's mind like it's some kind of instruction manual. Well, the reason I decided to major in psych, psych, psychology because I wanted to understand the human mind. Hmm. So today's class, because I want to become, that's why people come for counseling. Someone great like Professor Chun. In some cases, in some cases, people are already unsubconsciously aware of their own problems. The most important thing in such cases is that the counselor shouldn't be a distorted mirror of that person's mind. Head of liberal, head of liberal arts, Professor Sang Won Chun, an almost unseen case of a Korean psychologist receiving inter international acclaim through extensive research and experience. He never gives up on any patients and always finds a way to help them with psycho psychological counseling. In his younger days, he was known as a legendary genius psychologist. Mumble mumble. Um. So um. This concept, Miss Yoon. Is your internship at the campus counseling center going well? Ah, yeah, yeah. No matter how great a psychologist, no one can read another person's mind. So try to keep your thoughts to yourself. <laughs> okay. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Now, where were we? He's so awesome. He can solve anything. He's devoted his entire life to helping people solve their problems. Why do I feel like I'm hearing something? I want to be a counselor like him, too. That's what I wanted, but this is not what I expected. I wonder what kind of problems students are struggling with nowadays. I see a lot of, a lot of people around who look like they could use some help. Creek, slurp, she in there drinking some coffee. Ah, welcome to the counselor. Ah, oh, welcome. The counselor is currently busy. If you tell me your student number and name, ooh, he just, he just walked in. Is Professor O here? Yeah, is he there? Is he there? Is he there? I heard that Professor Single Single Sheik is oh is here. I wear oh well how well he's gone for the day. Wow, check out his white hair. <laughs> is someone gonna ha keeping an eye on the counseling room? Step, step, knock knock. Ha <laughs> ha holding down the fort here. Hey, hey Dara. What's up? You got a mental problem you need fixed? I'm worried about a friend who's got nothing to do. Not did you see that guy with the wear hat? Yep, he was in here. Really? Why, who is he? I don't know. He was looking for Professor O. Are they friends? He's so handsome. He, he. Ooh, my eye. Graduate school? Mm. You get rich, you know. You're already getting ready? Already? I'm going to be a senior next year. And besides, if you really want to be a counselor, you have to go too. I, I guess so. There's just aren't many labs for counseling psychology. There are a lot of fields in psychology. There's experimental, experimental psychology, developmental psychology, social psychology, criminal psychology, and so on. There's also abnormal psychology and clinical psychology, which study mental diseases. And they're available at most graduate schools. But for counseling psychology, there are less labs and scholars than, any, than other fields. That's why she's worried. Nice, a new dissertation, dissertation by Sela Gammon. Hmm. Hey, did you hear there's a new professor coming? Really? I hope he's a counseling psychologist. Who are you? Haha, <laughs> looks like things didn't work out with you and that girl. Something suspicious about the whole thing. You knew something, didn't you? They say he's a direct student of Professor Chion. He's supposed to have just come back from studying abroad. He must be some kind of genius to have become a full-time professor so quickly. Wow. But there's a weird rumor. This isn't your first time, is it? They they say he's got a bit of a temper. And it's like he's got no emotion at all. His name name's something like the Iceman, Frosty. Someone like you who's all surface and no death. Who probably had this happen lots of times before. If you ever need any help, give me a call in the psychology department. Ah, oh, well, if that's so, then I guess he won't be working in psychology. Shoot. Psych counseling. Shoot. 
Haha, <laughs> I guess so. Wrong! Professor Chion, this is absurd. He's never even worked as an assistant professor. Are you making him a full-time professor? And, and, and besides, isn't he too young for that? Ugh. But, but at, but at our school, couldn't we use someone else in the counseling department? And the new professor thesis is supposed to be astonishing. He's certainly proven that he's capable. Don't you think it's, it'll be all right? But still. Oh, what you're, what you're, what you're saying, what you're all saying is true. But still. If someone so young and talented were to become one of our professors, wouldn't it benefit our, faci our facility in a lot of different ways? Professor Seals always come competing with Professor Chion since she's a department head. He'll probably end up being the next department head. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Well, if you say so, Professor CEO, no problem then. Ha uh ha. -huh. However, there is one thing I'm concerned about, Professor Chion. From what I'm heard, this young man supposedly works in a bar. Now, I don't want to be, I don't want to pry into his private life too much. But if he's going to be a professor here, wouldn't this harm the dignity of our facility? Hmm, they're, they're making this so complicated. So I thought since he's young, why not assign him to the counseling center first? And then take things from there. Hmm, that's not a bad idea, smart. It's a good chance for him to get to know the students. But they don't really do anything there. It doesn't even have its own lab. Hmm, this is exactly what I expected. Wow, that's great. I'm so excited. Is that really your excited face? Look, Mr. Burke, I mean, Professor Frost, sir. That place isn't what you're thinking. You told me this long ago. To a good clinical psychologist, the lab and counseling are equally important. The school's counseling center would be the perfect lab for me. Oh, so bored. Should I put a flyer in telling people to come? No, no, no need. No need. People will be there. People will be there. They will be there, girl. They go home with Since these books are all data, they shouldn't be here. This is garbage. Oh, whoops. It was Professor Ooze's thesis notes. Hmm. Who are you? I'm, um, the Counseling Center's TA. I told you my name, Sig Sigona Yoon, before. Oh, yeah. Then put this clock over there. Ah, sure. But why hesitate? Are you a psychology major, sir? Yes, I'm a professor. Then why don't you know something so basic? It's shocking. Don't you know what happens to clients if they see this clock? Ah, uh, until they completely open up, clients will try to hide themselves from you. If those if those kinds of people can see a clock, they get even more bored. They keep looking at the clock, waiting to leave, and they can't concentrate. Whereas, I can't look at my watch midsection either. Because then the client would think I'm getting bored listening to them. So you put the so you guys have put the clock in a place where only I can see it. Ah, uh, of course. These books bookshelves are bothering me too. They could intimidate the clients. So am I supposed to move those too? <laughs> no, that's what I want to know. Professor O sure likes half assing things around here, seeing how he runs the place. I guess not much has changed since he was a student. He may have been. He may have. He may have been a bit careless, but he was a good person. A good person? If someone who smiled at everything is a good person, then I guess he is. Ah, don't get me wrong. Professor O and I don't hate each other. I'm just telling the truth. <laughs> He's like, we got no beef. We got no beef. We can, we speak. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What do you mean you leaving the center? Are they closing it down because not getting enough students come? Haha, <laughs> nothing like that. The psychology department can't shut down its own counseling center. Whew. There's someone coming to replace me. He's far more talented. Thank you, Songe. You were a great help to me. Professor? Another professor? Even more talented? What kind of person is he? He's pretty impressive in a lot of ways. Haha. <laughs> Sorry, Sangi. Sangi. Good luck, Professor! Now I know what he meant. This is all trash. So dusty. <laughs> <sighs> hmm, I better get myself a cell phone charger. Professor, I'd like to properly introduce myself. I'm Sagona Yoon, a junior student in psychology in counseling psychology. Nice to meet you. Ah, uh, nice to meet you too. Good. Um, Professor, what's your name? Ah, uh, I'm Frost. Professor Frost. What? So, should I just call you Professor Frost? Yeah, that'll be fine. Creeped out? But I mean... Your actual last name, you know, like, 
Kim, a Choi, a Pork. Does that really matter? I mean, you call me whatever you want. No, no, it's fine. Professor Frost. Wipe, wipe. As soon as he said you call me whatever he want, I want, I'm instantly coming up with a nickname for him. Hmm. Snow. He already got himself a nameplate. I wonder how Sigourney is doing. She's 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 sounding up well. She's doing good. Chirp 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 chirp. There's some birds out there. Vroom. Chirp 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 chirp. Vroom. Cows and birds. And it's bored in here. They bored at the work. Bored at work. Bored at work. So why you decide to come here, Professor? Oh please. Hmm. I mean, other professors are saying to hey, come in here. You ask a lot of questions. Ugh. I want to keep meeting lots of people and counseling them. That's what I want in life. Wow. Now, not what I would have expected, but unfortunately, not many people come to our campus counseling center. What? Why? I'm not sure. Well, that's not good. I like to have as many kids as I can, though. Me too, hee hee. I want to have lots of people. I want to share and heal all their worries and problems. Share? Do you really think that sympathy is possible? That's a myth. Yee. Huff, huff. So this must be where he is, but... Am I supposed to use his name to find him? Excuse me. Where where can I find Professor Frost? Ugh, so embarrassing. Professor Protoss? What kind of name is that? Professor, what do, what do you mean? There's a line I really like in one of my favorite books. Communication is believing that you can't communicate. Delivery is that if you deliver, then it gets delivered. That's all it is. There's no such thing as we're sensitive to understanding each other. Humans can't sympathize with other people. It's all in your head. When I give counseling, I use other case studies as a basis and try to understand people's minds using the data I collected. Psych psychological, psych psychological problems have always repeated themselves, just like the prescription. These case studies and data from thousands of cases are saved in my brain. I just give counseling, counseling using them. That's what you're doing is not counseling. Isn't a counselor supposed to sympathize with the client's problem and try to help and understand them? Of course, that kind of counseling does exist. But that's not how I work. Oh, my God. How did you do that? Knock, knock. Is this where the frost guy is? What a relief. Looks like I got my first client of the day. Ooh. I'm actually, I'm about to start right here. And I'm actually, ooh, I know what I'm going to do. Don't worry. Stay with me.